What's up, YouTube? This game has really good music. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, yes, I, I actually beat the game already. Not 100% complete, but I'm not very far from doing so. Uh, here, I'll show you the deal. So, you know, I'm not BSing. Alright, so first we got World 1, World 2, World 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, I got all the green stars, I got all the stamps that I can right now. The only things I really have left to do, I mean, I even got all the gold flags. Uh, the only things I really have left to do is like. Officially unlock Rosaline as a playable character. Um, beat each stage again with each character. So basically beat the game four more times. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, <clears throat> you guys can go ahead and let me know if y'all want my review of this game. But if you have a Wii U, you should, you should definitely play this game. This is a very good game. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. Uh, today, I actually got a chance to try out the PlayStation 4 controller, and I played a couple of the games on the console, because I went, me and my friend, we went to GameStop, right, and I was like, hmm, let me go ahead and try the PlayStation 4, let me see what the fuss is all about. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start by saying that they definitely need some updated demos, because that, the demos they had up there definitely cannot truly showcase what the PS4 can do. I mean, what they had, Knack, Octodad, Contrast, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So I'm just like, okay, um, yeah, <laughs> you know, I played Knack, you know, to see what the fuss was all about, um, like why the game got the reviews it got, because like I tell you guys in my previous videos, I don't let reviews judge which, which games I like. Um, but I did play it, and I, w I was very underwhelmed, um, personally. I was playing it, you know, the demo, you only had to do, you only had control of like four things, you know, left stick movement, right stick was evade, which, believe it or not, I didn't even like how it, it was an evasion. Like, what that, the evasion in that game, you know what that shit felt like to me? It felt like Halo 4's thr like thrust booster. You know what I'm saying? Like when you were when you were doing your evasion, it was just like a quick sidestep. And like in Halo, you just got like a really small cyber lunge or whatever directional lunge, whichever direction you pushed it. And that's what it felt like. And then I was just like, uh, this sucks. <laughs> like it it really did suck. Like. You don't get in, you really don't get enough distance for that to be significant. Like you just you'd be better off just jumping out of the way. Um, you know, and that had a little <clears throat> Sonic the Hedgehog type move, like the whole homing ball. It's like you don't you did a jump and then you pressed square and then he just did like this ball like uh, looking like Blanca or something up in here. Like it was crazy. And then like of course you had like no combos, you just hit nigga, you just hit orcs, you know, <laughs> like, it, it was just, it was, and then you couldn't go anywhere, like, it was just a very, like, closed off game, what, what it felt to me, I mean, I don't know, I didn't really enjoy it, it was, uh, <sighs> it, it was pretty underwhelming, and then, uh, you know, I tried out Contrast for a bit, uh, the whole time I was playing that, for some reason, I just couldn't stop thinking about, you know, uh, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds with the whole, you know, you go in the whole shadows thing, and then Link, you know, you morph with the wall. And then, um, was it, Octodad? That was probably the most interesting game on the demo kiosk that I played. You know, I, I like that game. But other than that, uh, I was pretty underwhelmed with the PlayStation 4. I mean, I know the console just came out, so we gotta give it time to actually get its games before we can really say what the deal is. But as of right now, 
Uh, I definitely don't need that console right now. Uh, the only reason why I'm even interested in the console is simply because they finally announced Kingdom Hearts 3, and I've been waiting forever for that game. Uh, with that being said, um, I hope... I hope Sony, you know, they can announce some good stuff sort of in the near future because with what they currently have out now, what's coming up, like, I'm not a fan of Infamous or anything like that, so I don't, I'm not excited for those games. So I need, I need some JRPG love, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy. I'm going to give Final Fantasy 15 a try, even though, like I said, Final Fantasy 13. Didn't really, I wasn't really feeling that, you know, that I was, uh, it was okay, but it wasn't the best uh, Final Fantasy games that I played, and, uh, I don't know, I just want more games, like, I want more, <sighs> I, I really, I'm a, I'm more of a Japanese type gamer, I like the Tales games a lot, you know, RPGs, uh, Bayonetta, like, action RPGs, don't make cry stuff like that. I like those type of games, and right now Sony, for the most part, has really only showed me like Western type games, like more Assassin's Creed, more you know Western developed games. But I want, I, I kind of want Sony to get a balance of Western developed and Japanese developed. Then yeah, no doubt I'll definitely get a PlayStation 4. But until I see some games that actually interest me, that are not Uncharted, that's not Infamous, that's not anything related to what they had on PS3, then. Right now, the PlayStation 4 is not a buy. Like, that's that's just what it is. So that's basically it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.